let us look at um, the correlation procedure. Now, we utilize the Pearson correlation to um, examine whether or not there are significant relationships between variables. So if I want to know, is there a significant relationship between variable A and variable B, what I will do is to run a Pearson correlation. So um, based on my experience with going to school, you tend to find that the students who are in school tend to live on, who are like first year, tend to live on campus, where as, um, as you get um, further in your studies, you tend to live further away from campus. So what I want to do now is to do a Pearson correlation to see if there is a relationship between year in school, which is the school year variable, and distance, distance that you live from school, which is our variable A7, which has been renamed to distance. All right. So let us go. Um, how do we do this? We go to analyze bivariate correlation and click. Now we are going to select the two variables that we want to do a correlation with, which, with which are our distance variable and our school year variable. So let me put in school year. And I need distance of D. Found distance and I bring it in. All right. And I want the significant correlation to be flagged. So I'm selecting it here. Then I'm going to click paste. And I'm able to go to the syntax and the new procedure that I want to run is here. So I'm going to click run selection. And immediately or correlation is presented here. So the Pearson correlation that we see here is um, 0.19, negative 0.19. So this is a negative correlation. And the two-tailed is 0 0.00. What does all of this mean? Well, let me explain. Number one, Pearson correlations um, go from pretty much negative to positive. So they can either be negative or positive, but the highest Pearson correlation is going to be one. So from so Pearson correlations will run from zero to one, but the number can be negative or it can be positive. One, a correlation of one is a perfect correlation and the only thing that anything can ever be perfectly correlated to is it, its itself. All right. When you have a negative correlation, what it means is that as one variable um, increases, the other variable decreases. So for example, we see here that the academic school year, and if you look at that variable, you would see that the variable increase is going to be um, senior, junior, sophomore, freshman. So the, the highest variable is going to be um, the highest level um, in terms of the year that you are in school, right? Now, I also want to look at the distance less than one mile off campus, one to two miles, 
2 to 5 miles plus 5 miles. All right. So remember, we had thought that the higher your years in school, meaning if you're a freshman, if you're a senior, so on, the more likely it is that you will live further away from campus, which is like five plus miles. So we were expecting a positive correlation. What we see here is that this correlation is actually negative, which means that the um, higher your years in school, the more likely it is that you would actually live closer to campus, right? So based on, again, your high, the higher your year in school, we're seeing that this correlation is negative, meaning that you would live closer to campus because as one goes up, the other one goes down, right? But what we, so we see here that the correlation is negative 0.19, and it also is significant. How do we know when something is significant? This number here, sig, should be less than 0 0.05. And so we see a value of 0 0.000 indicating a significant relationship between um, year in school and distance from campus. However, contrary to what we thought, we actually see that the higher um, your years in school, the more likely it is that you are going to be living closer to campus because that is what it is saying. When one goes up, the other one goes down. All right? So that is something that's very, very interesting there. Let us try um, another correlation procedure. This time I'm going to see if there is a correlation between age and year in school. So the, the, is there a significant relationship between how old you are and what level you are in terms of academic school year? Um, it is possible that the older you are, the more likely it is that you would be like at a higher level, like junior or senior. Um, but we know that based on the fact that we have a lot of non-traditional students a lot of times, um, it might be that, that that's not the case, right? So let us try that. So let us go back to the data file and we're going to go to analyze by variate correlation and we are going to change distance and we are going to put age instead. And let's paste. And let us go to the syntax. Let us find our newest um, procedure and we will run it. So we have our new correlation. And finally, we see here a, um, a correlation that we expected. So here we see that the pairs of correlation 0.84 and our SIG is also 0 0.00. So this indicates that um, there is a significant positive correlation between academic school year and age, meaning that the older you are, the more likely it is that you are at a higher academic school year, right? So that is what is seen here. We would write the Pearson correlation as R, and we would say sig is P, and so we would say P, so R is equal to 0.84, P is less than 0.05. You don't actually write out what the sig is, you just say that it is less than 0.05. I want to show you a feature of the Pearson correlation, however, is that um, there are actually two diagonals and the ones, which is the correlation of each item with itself, is actually the, 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 the diagonal. Everything above and below the diagonal are mirror images of each other, so you really only need to interpret one 
um, area. So it's either above the diagonal or below the diagonal. If you look again at this one, you see the same thing. The ones perform a, a straight line um, and above and below are the same thing, okay? So that is the Pearson correlation. And as we say, when we have hypotheses that speak to relationships between variables, that is when we would use the Pearson correlation procedure. So is there a sign there is a significant relationship between age and school year. We would use the Pearson correlation to test. There is a significant relationship between school year and distance from school. That is a Pearson correlation. So whenever you write there is a significant relationship, then you should be actually um, looking at uh, doing a Pearson correlation.